Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out with my buddy Mike. Hey! We are out camping and it is windy and it is forecasting for rain. So we're trying to get some coffee routine taken care of right now before the rains open up. And as you guys can probably see, the people that were here the last time left a load of firewood. So that's one less thing that we have to do today. But we are all set up as far as tents go and sleeping arrangements. We're doing our coffee right now. Hopefully it does not rain right yet because we do want to get kind of squared away a little bit. But uh, we're basically going to chill out next to the lake, have an overnighter, hopefully in the rain, and uh, hopefully it'll be fun. That's a chance of thunder showers too. Chance of thunder showers, that is true. So hopefully we get that storm. Okay guys, so it has gotten very, very dark out right now. We've got loud thunder above, gigantic black clouds coming in towards us. So I do have a tarp with me. We're gonna get that tarp strung up somewhere probably in this area off to the side of the fire pit. And hopefully we can keep all the firewood dry and have an outward sitting area under the tarp basically because we're, we're gonna get dumped on any minute. It is very windy, very dark out. so. Mike, let's get that tarp set up real quick and hopefully we'll stay dry.
Okay guys, we got the tarp strung up. I got my tent over here, Mike's over there. And then we put the tarp directly in between both tents. If it does come down with rain, we have more than enough shelter underneath of here. We could drag our stumps underneath. The campfire will be out in this area. Hopefully everything will go well. It did get very, very dark in the sky. We do have some raindrops that have hit both tents. So it is calling for thunder showers all night. So we might as well get this up now as opposed to later. So everything is ready. We're now going to start on the campfire and probably start on supper. I know I'm going to be cooking over the fire myself. Yeah, Mike's going to try. Yeah, frying pan. and yeah. yeah, I got my grill with me. So we're going to get that stuff set up, get the fire cooked down in coals and hopefully get cooking without being dumped on with rain. So let's get started.
All right, guys, well, here comes the rain, and it is probably not the best time for it to rain, but my chicken is on the fire. I'm gonna get some more wood on that to build up a little bit more coals. It looks like it might pass us by, but who knows? Everything that we've got going on out here, we're gonna quickly move underneath of the tarp, close up our tents, and it's actually starting to come down pretty heavy right now. So we're gonna do that really quickly. And I can actually see some lightning just behind the camera up in the sky. So mm -hmm. we're gonna get underneath the tarp really fast and hopefully keep the fire going. Alright guys, well the rain definitely came in. We've got lightning strikes, thunder like crazy. It seems like the rain is almost starting to let up just a tiny bit right now. And it is getting a little lighter farther off in the distance. So who knows, the storm might actually pass by. My chicken is still on the grill, dripping, soaking wet. Uh, we did come inside, so Mike's got his stuff set up here. He already cooked up his fish and everything. And I've got my frying pan ready to go, but I think I think I might be able to finish cooking over the fire after I relight the fire because that chicken is just so... So I'm going to hold off for a few more moments. I'm going to hold off for a few more moments because the storm does sound like it's rolling past us. And hopefully I can get out there, light that fire, get the chicken cooked up. If not, I'm just going to come in here, canister stove, frying pan, chicken and do it up that way. But that was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, I gotta say.
Okay guys, the rain is not letting up at all. <laughs> For a few moments there we thought it was going to stop and then a big crack of thunder and just downpour constant now for probably about half hour 40 minutes so I've got coffee I'm gonna make up a pot of coffee and we're just gonna chill out underneath the tarp for a little longer yeah. uh, I did process up some more firewood so it's just underneath the camera right now we have brook bark we've got feather sticks we've got kindling and we've got large pieces that are all dry so the, the, if, if, if the rain does let up we're gonna try and have a fire but yeah. who knows it is coming down out there so like I said, we're going to hunker in here, going to do up some coffee. I think Mike might want to try this. Yeah, I'm going to have a, I'm gonna have a little sip of that too. Right? All right, so I'm going to grind up a little bit of extra bean. And I got to say, having the coffee grinder now, I've been after one of these for years. And I finally said, you know what, I'm going to get one. And I absolutely love it. This thing I think I got for maybe $9 on Amazon. And <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to grind up some fresh coffee bean here. We got some 454 horsepower coffee beans today, so that'll kick us in the butt underneath the tarp. Oh yeah! <laughs> and we're just gonna we're just gonna hang out, just relax. Hopefully, we do get our fire a little later on. Hopefully, that will be nice. And uh, so far, I'm loving the rain. I think we both are. Yeah. Definitely relaxing here. Summer summer evening. It is right now. It's probably about seven o'clock. And uh, yeah. chilling out. So I'm gonna get this coffee ground up. And we are going to enjoy a pot of coffee made from rainwater. We got some rainwater collecting in the pot on the ground. So we're gonna have some spring rain 454 coffee. Let's do it. Right, guys this is Mike's first black coffee not first ever but Mike does not drink black coffee no. <laughs> I drink black coffee and recently I switched to paper filters just to get a lot of the oils out of the coffee um, interesting fact coffee oils does not boost or heighten your cholesterol a lot of people think it does it actually doesn't uh, what it does is it interacts with an enzyme in your gut that basically produces or helps minimize cholesterol so in a way it kind of does increase your cholesterol but the oils in the coffee don't actually do it they just reduce the functionality of the enzymes if anybody's interested in that so I've been stripping out of the oils out of my uh, my coffee and so that's why I switched the paper filters I've been asked that quite often lately what's up with the paper filter just to get all the oils out of the coffee so Flavor is still excellent. Mike's gonna try this. Yeah. He was going to have the tails, so the second cup of coffee, but we're gonna give him the heads, which is the very first pour. It's gonna be very strong, very, very black coffee. And then I'm gonna have the tails in my cup, so this should yeah. be pretty good. Yeah. Give this a little pour over. Yeah. Sounds interesting, 454 horsepower. Yeah, pretty good coffee. Yeah. The first told me that I'm like, are we talking engines or are we talking coffee here? <laughs> A little bit of both. <laughs> so the, the important thing with ground coffee, fresh ground coffee that I find is steep the coffee, the ground coffee, just let it steep for a second. So give it a little bit of a pour, let all that coffee soak in the water, and then go ahead and start pouring for your extraction. That way all the coffee beans are swollen and they're open, ready to accept that water and start the extraction process. So. This is gonna be pretty good. Update on the rain, it has not let up. No. We keep seeing little flashes of lightning off in the distance. No thunder, but it is still off and on really, really heavy. So we just, this is the tail end of a massive downpour just happened about two to three minutes ago. And it looks like it's gonna do, be doing that for the 
pretty much the evening, but I don't think they'll do it all night long. No. It's got to let up sooner or later, so. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to mix up this coffee here, get this brewing, and sit back and enjoy it, see how Mike likes it. It's got a better taste to it, I know that. Yeah. Not bad. No sugar, no whitener. No milk. No cream, no milk. Mike doesn't drink coffee like Straight that. Straight up black coffee. <laughs> Not bad. It's an acquired taste. It takes some getting used to. Yeah. And every method of uh, brewing gives it a different flavor. Yeah. So having it through the paper filter will have a different flavor, especially brewing it in the titanium as well. It'll have a different flavor profile. But it's much healthier for you. And it's less gear to bring. You don't have to pack sugar, no milk, no creamer, nothing. Just coffee yeah. and water. That's it. And I think the rain is starting to let up. Did this to us before. Yeah, a few times. Let so up and then boom. Yeah. So we will see here in a few moments. We'll get this extracted and enjoy our coffee. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to jump outside of the tart for a little bit. Okay guys, so we've got the fire going and like I said, the rain did finally let up and it is no longer raining right now. It is still very cloudy. There's a slight breeze in the air, but not windy. So this fire is pluming quite large. It's putting out some massive heat. I mean, I'm drying out already. I don't know about you. Well, I wasn't quite wet, but I was damp. So I was I'm, soaked. I'm dry. <laughs> I was soaked. So I am drying out quite, uh, quite quickly actually. I'm gonna get my stump out from underneath the tarp and bring that back over here so I'll have a chair. I think Mike's gonna do the same thing. And hopefully we'll be able to sit right here in front of the fire for a little bit longer. Um, the rain looks like it's gonna hold off, so we're gonna be outside. It's nice to actually get out and stretch your back and stretch yeah. your legs after being stuck underneath of that tarp. But it beats being stuck inside of the tent. I yeah. will say that, so. <laughs> Big time. Big time, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna get our stumps over here, get some chairs set up, and we're gonna start relaxing in front of the campfire.
All right guys, so we've been chilling out here for the last few hours and we had a pretty interesting moon rise. So the moon was like bright orangish, kind of pinkish. That was pretty cool, just off to the side over the lake. I ran down there, got some great photos. And uh, now we've just been chilling out here for the last few hours. Right next to the tent, super nice and warm. No rain yet, and we can hear a couple of loons and some animals and birds and whatnot off in the distance. But I think all in all, it's probably going to be a fairly quiet night tonight. Uh, we're not going to be up too much longer because it is quite late right now. And I, I imagine later on this evening, it probably yeah. is going to rain again. Oh, I can feel a few drops yeah. and the sky is just gray as can be. So I think we are going to get rain overnight, but who knows? I think uh, I think it'll be quite relaxing actually if we yeah. get some rain on the tent. I usually fall asleep pretty good to that. So we're just going to be out here for a little bit longer and I'll bring you guys back when I do crawl inside of the tent for the night. But I think right now we're just going to shut the camera off chill out for a while and just enjoy the campfire okay guys inside of the tent and i gotta say this is definitely going to be a comfortable night's sleep we've got some firewood on the fire so if you guys can pick up the crackling from the campfire that sound is going to be awesome if it starts raining i'm gonna have some awesome raindrops some crackling campfire hopefully for a little while and uh, it's going to make for a really good evening. So I do have a couple movies on my phone. I'm probably going to watch one this evening. And I do have a couple snacks just behind me on the other side. And uh, I'm just basically just going to lounge here, eat some snacks, watch a movie. And then lights out and good night. And then I'm going to be up early, hopefully early, for some coffee in the morning. And all in all, having a pretty good time so far. So I'm going to get this camera shut off. Just want to say good night to you guys. And I'll catch you in the morning for coffee. Good night, guys. Good morning guys, it is a wet and rainy morning out today. Mike is finally awake and out here having his coffee. Uh, I've already done my coffee and oatmeal, so I've got my dishes all cleaned up and I'm basically ready to kind of just pack that stuff away shortly. Um, it did rain 
all morning, all morning, a little bit in the night, but all morning and uh, thunder, lightning like crazy. I actually got up very early, I took the camera down to the lake, recorded a little bit, and, uh, and then I just came over here, made my coffee, made my oatmeal, relaxed right next to the, to the stump here, and listening to the birds and the rain. Mike finally got up, he joined me, he's got his coffee <laughs> on the go right now, so a little bit of a slow morning, but I think we're both enjoying the rain. Oh yeah. Certainly the, uh, the tarp this trip, absolutely day yeah. one. Definitely <laughs> really glad I brought a tarp. Usually I'll just sit in the tent, deal with it that way, but having two of us here, the tarp was definitely a very good piece of kit to very bring. Good so. option. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nice sitting under here. So we're going to enjoy, well, he's going to enjoy his coffee. I'm going to start packing up my cook gear and then we're going to get our sleeping gear packed away, bring the tent underneath the tarp, pack up that way, and hopefully we'll stay a little bit dry. Okay guys, we are totally packed up right now and as you can see the rain has stopped and it is absolutely foggy out right now. Kind of a cool feeling, you got this mist in the, in the forest and off in the forest distance you kind of see the mist kind of, it, it just, it creates a really eerie feeling, it's kind of cool, I like it. <laughs> so we are ready to go and we're going to take advantage of the rain not raining right now. So we're going to get moving our butts through the woods because we do have a little bit of a walk to go. So. All of our gear is totally dry. We've got our pack covers on, so yeah. everything's going to stay nice and dry. And all in all, we both had a really great time. Yeah. Awesome thunderstorm, lightning, yeah. food was great. Campfire was awesome last night. All that thunder this morning. Yeah, lightning thunder this morning. morning and the lightning. So everything went really, really well. I'm going to get the camera packed away in just a moment, though. So I just want to say goodbye. Thank you guys yeah. for watching. And drop your questions and comments down in the comment section if you do have any questions. And peace out. We'll catch you in the next video. Later.